And we turn now to Florida Senator Marco Rubio, the vice chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee, and he joins us from Miami. Good morning to you, Senator. Our Good poll morning. shows two thirds of Trump supporters believe those false and disparaging claims about Haitian migrants are true. Uh, the governor of Ohio has said he is a big supporter of the ticket, but he's sad about this because there's no evidence of these claims. He's disparaging migrants who are legal and the verbal attacks dilute and cloud what should be a winning argument for Republicans about the border. Do you agree that well, this kind I, of thing is a distraction from the broader point well, and dangerous? Well, it shouldn't be a distraction because at a minimum, it shouldn't keep us from, for example, saying, OK, well, maybe I don't believe the dogs and the cats thing. But there are literally people moving in by the by the thousands in the yes. case of Springfield, Charleroi in Pennsylvania. You know, that's a 4,000 person city that has 2,500 migrants. And I think one of the problems here is that somehow Americans who are not intolerant, they're not bigots, they're not. But they are troubled by the fact that their city is being flooded. In Springfield, you see reports. These are legitimate reports of huge increases in traffic accidents leading to yes. slower police response time, overcrowded schools. I mean, the strain this puts on a community. And if you complain about it, somehow you're a bigot, you're a racist, you're a hater. No, that is the story here, that legitimate. everyday Americans are being made to feel like they're haters because they're complaining about something all any of us would complain. If any of us, I don't care who we are, live in a city of 4,000 yeah. people, and you bring in 2,500 migrants overnight into one place, there are going to be problems. Problems. And there people are, are going to complain problems. that doesn't make you a bigot. There are absolutely and that's, problems that, that should be what we're focused on. That the on. governor has documented and that we have talked about here. But it wasn't everyday people making those claims. It was the Republican nominee and his vice president making those false claims about Haitian migrants. Well, those migrants. are claims. That no, those rhetoric. are claims that people. Those are claims that people in those communities made. Maybe some have now recanted or moved aside from it. But that should not take us away from the fundamental truth, and that is. There, is ha there are th real impacts happening when you move people into communities, as has been done by design by the Biden administration. Yes, but, and allowing but you know, people you're, you're in leadership. So you know words matter. Yeah, and, right and I think one of the words that should matter the most is there is a real migratory crisis. There mm -hmm. is a real migratory crisis. And even in this particular case, not just Springfield, Charleroi, other places like that, people are there are real impacts happening in our country with this movement of mass migration. And that's not gotten the coverage that it deserves. And you say you've covered it, other covered, but it hasn't gotten the coverage. The cats and dogs thing has gotten way more coverage than the right. real world impacts that this is having. And I think that's what needs to change in the way this issue is covered. Mm -hmm.